A new project in Grand Haven is building homes with the goal of making housing more affordable for working families. News aides Kyle Mitchell explains the impact the project is looking to make. Robinson Landing is designed to keep housing affordable with smaller homes that are still big enough to meet the needs of most families. So how big is this unit? Uh, about 1,500 square feet. This home in Grand Haven is now on the market. So we have the, the two bedrooms here on both sides. And it's part of a bigger plan to reach a segment of the real estate market that is often overlooked. There's definitely a gap in the market and we call that missing middle because the the middle income population, people who are right in the ballpark of the median income, um, new houses aren't getting made for them. Eric Kehoe is a real estate development manager with Michigan Community Capital. It's a nonprofit, so we, we create um, middle income housing throughout the state. So um, this is the type of project that we're looking to do statewide. The home's layouts are all two to three bedrooms. How they're designed is also a crucial part of keeping the price affordable. The lot sizes are slightly smaller. The square footage is slightly smaller. We would say it's, it's very high quality materials, but there aren't any frills. You know, this is just quality workmanship. The project would not have been able to get off the ground without the city providing the land at a reasonable rate, which is being leased to homeowners and initial funding from community partners. The Grand Haven Area Community Foundation provided an impact investment of $1.5 million to Michigan Community Capital, which helped them have access to capital to start the project. About half the homes will be sold at market value. The other half will be sold at a lower rate for people who qualify through a community land trust. If you're someone who makes, you know, 80% of the median income, you can buy this house at an affordable price for you and build equity in the house as you live in it. And then the land trust shows that when you sell the house, you have to sell it at a price that's affordable for someone in that 80% income. The Housing Next Community Partnership helped make the project a reality and says this concept can build neighborhoods to meet the need in West Michigan. Within Kent Ottawa County, we have 37,000 more units needed. We're seeing a lot of that demand in our millennial population and older population. They're looking for these smaller units both for affordability but also from a lifestyle perspective. In Grand Haven, Kyle Mitchell, News 8.